Hey there friends, it's your good old friend, Eric from the Action Toys channel. And today we're going to work on something that I teased earlier on, both on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, and the Action Toys Facebook. And that is this character right here. This is our Dragon Blaster Skeletor. The dragon has been restored, as you see. It now shoots water, but I had to change out the mechanism. So that's how that goes. Comes out fairly easy. I was thinking maybe it should be out a little bit further. Um, we can fix that later. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but today, it's more or less along the lines of completing the figure. And how we're going to do that is... With this bit of chain and with some 3D printed uh, items. Nope, dropping things. As always on the Action Toys channel, we drop things all the time. Now I am going to implement a pair of wire cutters and a pair of jeweler's um, pliers right here for this because of this character right or this chain right here. Oh, now, oh, if you give me one second, I actually want to find you guys the uh, name of the maker of the, uh, of the uh, cuff and the lock. Don't mind me guys, I just gotta go into find it because uh, uh, you can find these on Thingsverse. I think it's RBD3 designs, but I gotta double check that. I definitely gotta check that. Gotta get that out of the way before I do anything else. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, it is. I'll put a, I'll post a link to it in, in the description as well. Okay. RBL3D. Ah, I was almost there. Um, check them out on Thingsverse. They have lots of cool stuff you guys can print. All right. Now, let's have a look here. Oh. Zero to twenty. Okay, so it says that you need zero to twenty of this. Why? I don't know. Is there a lock on this? Oh, was there a lock on this? Give me a second. I'll double check. If there was, then I'll I'll have to build that up. Dragon blaster. Skeletor. All right, we'll go to the images. We'll double check the armor. Ah, so this armor is missing a piece that goes here, and I want to see how it connects to it. Okay, so maybe there's a cuff, a lock, and it looks like it connects to the back. Um, I, I, I gotta find a reference photo. There's a reference photo right there. So I'm gonna have to build this up. So I can uh, put the um, pieces through. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to do that off camera then.
Okay, guys, I've literally given this an entire night to, to dry out and harden up because last night when I was painting it, it didn't wasn't it didn't seem all that sturdy, and now it seems a lot better. Not a perfect fix, but it is what it is when we deal with what we had. I wasn't ready for that. Um, I also gave the paint on the cuff and the lock a night to dry. It would have it needed it most definitely did. Okay. Now, I don't know what else there is to do. Um, I do have this. Uh, I gotta make sure it squirts, so if you give me a sec, I'll be right back. I'll get some water or something, and we'll try it out. So, I'm thinking there's something wrong with this, so we're gonna scrap it. Um, we are gonna just start from scratch and make another one, which is just this. And we're gonna end up, well, chopping it up. All right, let's get to that. I'll be time lapsing it right now. Okay guys, so after going through making another one, um, I don't remember what I did with the other one that I had, but this one works, and I found out why this one didn't. I think it didn't. Is it, is it, is it, in there? it is missing the uh, spray connector thing. So when you see me pushing down and it was coming out the bottom, it's because it was just shooting up and going nowhere. So this works. Um, one second, let me put this in there. Okay, still want to get myself with it, so. Um, yep, so it works, you just have to shoot out. So now I gotta go through and take off this outside piece right here, and then. <clears throat> okay, so I gotta take out this outside piece, and that should be fine. I think I'm gonna leave on more of the bottom though, so it, 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 it stays at a certain height and doesn't get sucked in. Okay. So it will time lapse now. Well guys, that's how it looks. Um, I had to take a big break because my hands are sore. The arthritis and they're starting to act up. But uh, let's get this um, hooked up and see how it works. Okay, there's that. Oh. Okay. Versus. Oh, I forgot to hook the thing into it. Okay. Oop, lots of stuff. Now I gotta heat this up in some warm water. And there's that. Well, it's not really hot, but oh well. 
I'll give that a minute. Oh, I'm gonna eat a hot dog. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Well, it's been over. It's been two minutes plus. We're gonna pull this out and see how it worked. If it worked. Okay. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's all, it's the good one, so you can see the uh, piece where this is going to connect into. I don't know why. Ew. Okay. Okay, we'll put a little bit of this water in there. Okay. Oh, there we go. So I think it's gonna. I'm gonna have to put something in there and build up around the bottom. So I should have left well enough alone. But a little bit of glue is gonna be fine, I think. Well guys, I thought of something. Uh, it's not the best fix. It's not my favorite fix. It's a little epoxy putty. We're gonna build up around the bottom and we're gonna make it so that this goes in and it, it try, we have to keep it like up this high. Yeah. So we have to just build up around the bottom and see how it goes. All right, let's get off. guys well we got time to dry I don't know that looks like it's fine I might have shaved that down I was wondering if I um yeah that's in there good so trying to find a way I had it oriented in our first time. This way? Or this way? Huh. There we go. So now, since it was, it was, it, it was destroyed before, this would be a lot better because now you can put something in there properly. Gotta remember to orient it a certain way and you'll be fine. There we go. It's not perfectly now. So, best way to fix the problem with the brown. Let me put my, uh, grab a pen. And, there we go. Pull this out. I don't know if I'd call this a, a good fix, but it is back to being a squirt kind of thing, so good enough for that. Let me double check, oh, make sure I got everything in the right spot. Okay, all right. So now that's there. The head. 
Okay. I was hoping to get this. I should have pulled this out last night after doing what I did, but I, I, went, I got tired and went to sleep. So, looks like that's going to work. Oh, too much evil. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Just for good measure. Don't know why it's been so difficult. Yeah. That way then. Oh, it is that way. Okay. Don't leave it alone. Just leave it alone. It fits in better without the uh, without the pipe. So we'll take the pipe and we'll toss it. Okay. So there is one piece of armor fixed now um, so leave that down there okay so we'll put Skeletor back together okay now I may come back, revisit, and pull this piece out. Um, I should have let the paint dry before I did that, but oh well. Um, may come back, revisit, um, pull this stuff out, put something else down there. But yeah, no, we'll see. <laughs> okay, now I'll get back to what we were working on last night. What this original thing was all about. Let me move some of the pieces out of the way. Clean up after myself. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's move in to what we had it at earlier. Okay. Alright, so now. So this piece is the easiest piece because it really just it was just pushed through one of the links and then it was done. So now let's take our guy, take this out, empty out the water. Okay. I don't know I seen the guy that said 21 centimeters was uh what you needed for uh Skeletor to be proper, so I was like, all right. Hmm. There we go. I don't know. I see an advert, advert where he's wearing it like this, so that's what I am going to do. He's going to wear it like that. Okay. Put the cuff around his wrist. Okay, so not bad, works pretty good. All right, now it says that we put this. I gotta get a hold of this link. All right. Oh no. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Am I gonna have to grab it like this? I wonder. Ah. All right. 
right. And oh, let's have a look at this piece. Oh, I see what's wrong. Weird piece of runoff is on it. So I'll just cut that off with some plus nipples. Oh, I broke it! I broke it! That's fine, it'll make this easier then. There we go. I hope. Oh, goodness gracious. There we go. Awesome. Good. Good. Okay. What a bit of glue. Oh, goodness. Count to three. One, two, three. No, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. Wow, there's gonna be a lot of time lapses in this video already. Uh, oh well. Let's see. What else is there we can do? Well, since that's not working, oops, I broke it. Now, the guy who made the model for this did say that you could probably replace the uh, the um, locks. Part of hooks for the lock since it's so fragile. Place it with um uh something else. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm going to replace it with the tip of part of a paper clip. Whoops. Let's see if I can get this off now. We're gonna do a time lapse, I think so, yeah. I did this part for the dragon because that's a lot of work and I'm not waiting another hour to finish this project so I'm just gonna take this I'm gonna get a rough estimate of how it bends which is pretty much where it is now okay so we're gonna go we're gonna heat this up we're gonna poke an end in one side okay guys I'm back I put some glue or I put a hole in this and I'm gonna have to glue this. Okay. I guess I should do that on camera. Right? All right. So that looks all right. It's not the best. Um, I do have to nip off a little bit of this. So we'll put that off to the side a little bit. Well, that's not too bad. Looks like that's not going to take right now. Let that get in there. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. I got to paint this green, so. Oh, 
Okay, so well, do the good side. Yeah, we still got to off a piece of that. Now let's take off all this black piece. Oh, it's glued to me. I'm gonna put this back in there. Oh, okay. Oh, it goes in quite deep, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay. So there's that. Uh huh. So we're gonna take that piece. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna bend that wire off to the side a little bit. A little bit. Not much, just a little bit. Alright, this will go in there for sure. Okay, good. There we go. That works that way. And then some things I see where it's like, it's done like this. So maybe we'll do that. If it's big enough. Oh. Okay. So there's that. That's done. That's done. This fits on top. All right. All that extra weight now is bogging it down. Oh, pull! I pulled the armor right off. Okay. There we go. Now let's see if he stands. He stands. Okay. Okay, guys. So as you've seen. This is our um, mashed up, retro modded Skeletor. Um, I will probably go through and print another one of these locks out with a proper piece of 3D printed filament in there, or plastic. Um, but everything else looks pretty good. I will probably come back and get another one of them sprayers and do it so it's properly fitting. Okay. Um, cuff turned out really nice. Uh-huh. Now, we know he squirts. So, oh. All right, guys. What do you think? Think I should have done something different? No, this is this is a destroyed piece of armor, as far as I'm concerned. When I got it, it had like eight different layers of paint on it. It was orange, brown, blue, green. It was anything but the color it is now. Like, the entirety. Um, I, I got rid of the mech, because you can see with all the paint on it. Okay, even it's got paint stuck in there, so that piece wasn't worth saving because I tried and it does. It, 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 I put it on another sprayer and it didn't spray water or nothing. So chain turned out nicely. I think that looks good. Now that's how I seen it um, posed in some of the uh, toy things or uh, the uh, adverts for it. So I don't know if someone's just being lazy or they thought that was cool. But yeah, here we go, guys. What do you think? All right. 